In this video, let's learn about 5-pin relays, understand the diagram of each pin and its meaning. Most importantly, how to check if a 5-pin relay is still working well or is broken. This is the common pin, COM, which is usually connected to a power source or electrical load. Next are the two legs of the coil. When current flows through the coil, a magnetic field is created to activate or deactivate the contact. Normally closed, NC contact, when the coil has no voltage, this pin is connected to the common pin. Normally open no contact, when the coil is activated, has voltage, this pin will be connected to the common pin. Now we will proceed to test this relay. Step 1. Check the coil. Switch the multimeter to ohm mode. Measure the resistance between pins 1 and 2. Connect the multimeter probes to pins 1 and 2. The coil resistance is usually between 50 and 200 ohms, depending on the type of relay. If the meter displays infinity, infinity, or no value, the coil may be broken and needs to be replaced. As you can see here, the resistance measurement between pins 1 and 2 is showing about 0.39 OK ohm, so the two coil pins of this relay are still good and working properly. Step 2. Check normally closed NC pin. Switch the multimeter to continuity mode. Check continuity between pin 3 COM and pin 4 NC. When the coil is not activated, the multimeter will beep or display a small resistance value, indicating that these two pins are in continuity. If the multimeter does not beep or displays infinity, the relay may be faulty. Step 3. Test the relay operation. Apply power to the coil, pins 1 and 2. I will use a multi-power supply that I made myself. If you want to refer to how to make this multi-power supply, you can watch the video tutorial. I attached a link in the right corner of the screen. Connect the appropriate power source, 12 volts or 24 volts, to pins 1 and 2 of the relay making sure the polarity is correct. When energizing, you will hear a click sound, indicating that the coil has been activated and the contacts have switched. Check the contacts after activation. This relay can handle up to 10 amps but I will adjust on this multi-power supply only 5 amps to test the relay operation. This marker is usually for identification. This is pin number one. NC contacts pins 3 and 4. After energizing, these two pins will no longer be connected. NO contacts, pins 3 and 5. After energizing, the multimeter will beep or display a small resistance value, indicating that these two pins are connected.
Now I will turn off the power supply and check again. So this relay is still working fine. Basically, the test is as simple as that. Thank you for watching, and if you feel the video useful, don't forget to support me with a like, share, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next videos.